Another crazy week of fantasy football is almost in the books. Lots of blowouts, lots of close games, and a new week of trade targets is coming at you. My first trade target before week six is Chris Olave. Before I get into it, make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Chris Olave makes his second appearance on my trade targets list. Olave left the game early in week five after getting a concussion on his big touchdown in the third quarter, but he still made an impact on the game before he left. Chris Olave had four catches for 54 yards and a touchdown on six targets in week five versus the Seahawks. In my Sunday morning live stream for week five, I said that I viewed two rookies right now as current must start players for the rest of the year, Brees Hall and Chris Olave. And it's no wonder why they've been the only two players who have been on my trade targets list more than once this season. We finally saw Brees' true breakout game in week five versus the Dolphins, so the likelihood of you trading for him now very very low you should have done it already if you did do it good job he is likely no longer acquirable but right now you're kind of getting lucky a little bit here with Chris Olave because Olave's true breakout week came in week three versus the Panthers he had 147 yards and nine catches in that week three game but since then he has not broken 100 yards receiving again and in spite of two touchdowns over the past two weeks he has not been great in his fantasy performances only decent but the reality here is that Chris Olave is truly emerging as the best offensive playmaker in the New Orleans Saints offense. Camaro had just, hasn't been great this year, although he did have a good bounce back game in week five. Michael Thomas continues to struggle with his injuries, and Jarvis Landry is nowhere near the player that Chris Olave is. Olave really was one of the few rookie wide receivers who was truly polished and ready to go day one. And when Jameis Winston comes back, so do Olave's big plays. Now, the reason I'm saying you're getting a little lucky here with Olave is because he ended up getting a concussion in week five. Now, of course, we don't want to see a player get a concussion. I say that with respect. But with the NFL's new concussion rules that they just rolled out, Olave could miss Week 6's matchup versus the Bengals, which means he's not going to be front of mind for a lot of casual fantasy managers. You can really use that as an opportunity to jump on Chris Olave in the meantime, because what you're going to get with him is a young, talented, and explosive rookie with a good stretch of games coming. After Cincinnati in Week 6, he plays Arizona Secondary in Week 7, Las Vegas Raiders in week eight, Baltimore's in week nine, and Pittsburgh's in week 10. All of those teams' secondaries are extremely beatable, and those beatable secondaries come at a critical time in the fantasy season. Right now is the time to trade for Chris Olave, because I'm telling you, you may get lucky with a value here. Trade for Chris Olave before week five. If you want to see a player that you can still trade for right now, click on this video right here, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel.